there are heroin users as young as age 13 in Butler County recovery programs. The counselors there have dealt with children as young as 11. In recent one-on-one -on -one meetings with current and recovering heroin addicts, County Prosecutor Mike Moser realized the heroin fight has to begin early and in the classroom. Larry Davis shows us why, despite taboos, Moser, feel, Moser feels rather that heroin talk is important for children that once they get that heroin into the needle, it's over. It was a captive audience of school administrators and local lawmakers as prosecutor Mike Moser unveiled his plan to get into the schools and educate young people about the dangers of drugs. People in Butler County have held rallies to bring attention to the dangers of heroin. Nearly 50 people have died from overdoses this year. Moser says the battle against drugs should start in the classroom. Cincinnati Christian School Superintendent Terry Diefenbacher likes the idea. If you come in with scare tactics and uh, talking kind of down to the students and not as a um, someone who is very interested in, in uh, their future, I, I think it's how you present it to them. Current and former CCS students are also on board with the plan to educate students early about the consequences of drugs, specifically heroin. Um, I think that one of the biggest problems out there is just a lack of information about what it is that these kids are messing with and they don't realize that the things that they're trying now has the ability to affect them for the rest of their lives. If they know the dangers of it, it might uh, stop them from trying it, if giving into peer pressure if they know about it and that its effects on them. Moser is hoping to bring convicted drug users from prison to actually talk to today's students. He says the message is simple. Heroin has to have that connotation of being something lethal that will kill you. It will take your life and then it kills you. And Curtis uh, Moser also says there were actually some educators who are resistant to his idea. They question as to whether or not we should expose our children to this uh, drug talk. But Moser says that's exactly what they said about sex education many, many years ago. He says it will take time, but he hopes this plan does work. Live in Hamilton, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Curtis, back to you. Larry, this brings to mind the D.A.R.E. programs. What makes this program different, and why not just go with something like D.A.R.E.? Well, he's actually going a little deeper, I think, because he's going to actually try to bring in, he's got some contacts already, people who have been convicted of drugs or serving time for drugs, he's going to bring them into the schools, uh, get permission from the prison warden to actually bring them in and get a little deeper into the whole situation in terms of they can tell their story. Hopefully that will resonate. He also thinks that having student involvement, Having the students more involved, they will serve as mentors. So seniors will mentor juniors, juniors and sophomores, and so on down the line. A little bit more peer pressure involved there. Okay. Larry Davis in Butler County for us tonight. Larry, thank you. On the other side of the Ohio River, the children's home of northern Kentucky recently received more than a million dollars in grant money to expand drug education and treatment for young people. 